Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Technet Guide. Friends, in this video, I am going to tell you basic troubleshooting of FortiGate firewall. You can see this is my typology here. We will discuss different scenario. We'll work on different different tickets. So friends, first we will do basic troubleshooting. Then later we'll do advanced troubleshooting. Okay. First, let me describe you FortiGate firewall dashboard here. So you can see FortiGate firewall dashboard. You can see this is system information, system serial number, firmware, NAT, system uptime, system time, and system uptime. Okay. And you can see memory utilization, current session is there. You can see here. network information. Well, you can see routes. Now go to network and then interface. You can see here your interface status. If it is green, then your port is up. So you can see my port one, port two, port three, port four. This is my physical interface is up. Okay. So in the this is my management interface port one. We ha I have allowed ping HTTPS SSH HTTP. Okay. So HTTP is not recommended. So let me show you basic troubleshooting. 192.168.100.100. Okay, you can see I have logged in on my FortiGet firewall. If you want to check your system status, get system status. So you will get here your system detail, version, serial number of your license, valid, operation mode, NAT. Host MDI firewall, this is okay. Fast reboot, warm reboot, okay. Here, yeah. your current HA mode is standalone. Okay. If you want to check your FortiGate firewall performance status, get performance. Status. So you can see. Get system status. Your current CPU utilization zero percent. User zero percent. Nice ideal. Nice ninety nine percent. Okay. Okay. Memory utilization. You can see use seventy five percent. No friends. If you want to check now, you will get with this with the help of this command, you will check get system R. Okay. You will check connectivity. So you can see. No friends. It's showing only one R here. Okay. If I initiate ping from here, so it will show ARP of both two. Okay. So let me initiate ping for from here to here. Okay. Then it will show ARP for both. Let me initiate ping. Okay. Now we'll get ARP. Okay. You can see we get ARP for port three. We have ARP for port one. Okay. So if we are getting R, then connectivity is okay from year to year, year to year, year to year. Okay. Now we check here. So system interface. Now you can see our port one configuration, port two configuration, port three and port four. We don't have configured port four. Okay. You will check physical status. Get system interface physical. Interface physical. So, friends, with this command, get system interface physical. You will get here IP address, mode static, state of strategy of speed 10,000 Mbps and full. Okay. All the interface. Okay. Now, let me again show you diagnose IP address list. With this command, you will show your IP addresses of the interface. You will see if you have multiple ports, sub interfaces, VLAN, then you will get here. Like if you want to check IP address of port 3, then you will put here grab port 3, then you will get IP address of port 3. Got it? Now, if you want to check routing table network here so uh, i have to check route for this network so let me check 
get router info routing table detail then 172.16.1.1 you can see we have a route via port 3 next hop 20.1.10 so you can see 20.1.1.10 okay if you want to check your routing table all let me do all here instead of all so you can see your routing table default route we have port you have a default routes towards this ip port one these are the directly connected okay this you can see static and directly connected here okay now if you want to check your route configuration here static route configuration so router static you will it will show your static route here okay so you can see how you configure configure router static set destination gateways okay you have static route get system ha status command you will check a status ha status here okay ha health okay standalone mode standalone cluster of time zero because we don't have ha so friend if you want to check here your session list here get system session list so you can see this is my session list here okay these are the my session list let's go to gy then i will show you the logs here troubleshooting here now let's logs and reports for traffic so you can see just i initiated for this one go to logs here okay my source ip 10.1.1.1 Destination IP 10.1.1 it's netted to destination net 172.16.1.10.1.1. So you can see my source IP is there. Destination is 10.1.1.100 virtual IP now is translated to 172.16.1.1. You can see here destination IP 1.10 translated to 16 port 23 channel net. Okay. So let me show you one thing. You can filter source and destination. Let me filter here. If you want to check your destination port, destination port 23. You can filter which port destination port 23. Also, you can filter source IP source and dot dot. You want to filter with then it will show its source IP. Now add filter here. Also, you want to filter with destination IP a specific destination and it will show you okay you can see if you have multiple log thousands log hundred log then you can add filter here so it will show so in this log you can see connection error because remote side not allowed okay because route was not there because the route not there on remote so in this you can see Connection reset timer because you can see return traffic not coming back. Okay, so so events you can see here system events. Okay, any system events when user logged in, every CPU status, system events, multiple thing router events, and user events. If user login, H events, if H down or up, so it will show all the things here. Okay, so uh now let me show you a sniffer commands here how it will work diagnose sniffer diagnose sniffer packet any you can put your interface port 2 port 3 or anything if you don't know interface then you can put any okay host host any will be like your source ip you can put any ip here source your destination and dot one dot ten okay host what was four packet zero a okay a time is ten just let me initiate traffic here okay so source ten dot one dot one I simply traffic in you can see only in not out means 
in from you can see is in from port 2 but not getting out to port 3 means there is something blocking on the firewall might might be policy not there or route issue so let me check policy here on the firewall to check policy let me explain one thing how to find out the policy okay if you have source and destination then you can find out the policy on the firewall already there or not okay so let me show you the policy here so friends to check policy first you have to find out your source interface okay like for this source ip let me check here source interface get router info routing table detail we have to find out source ip so you can see it's learning from port 2 so, so my source ip port will be port 2 okay so let's find out the policy okay diag diag firewall ip probe ip probe i probe lookup i probe lookup lookup source ip 10.1.1.1 10 .1 .1 .1. 10. source root 1.2.3.4 SNSN ip 20.1.1.10 and destination port ICMP proto one or telnet you can do anything okay protocol TCP protocol TCP source port your source port is port 2 you can see your source port port 2 so you can see we don't have policy match policy ID 0 so you can see we don't have policy that's why it's getting dropped so let's create policy for this source to destination okay let's create policy and then we'll check here go to the firewall go to policy and objects firewall policy get policy LAN to dmz okay my so incoming interface port 2 outgoing interface port 3 source LAN 10.1.1 destination so just select dmz you can see i 20.1.1 0 okay close service all or you can put here 23 okay net we don't want net here just enable this policy all session enable this policy okay so let's check policy now friends let's check policy again run this command so you can see we have created policy right now policy we have so let's try here traffic for telnet just run the sniffer here okay just run a sniffer and tell it so you can see traffic source 10.1.1 source destination destination tell destination port 23 scene packet and in in from port 2 in from port 2 out from port 3 from firewall so no issue from the firewall policy is there then scene is going and return packet source 20 root 1 dot 10 destination source port 23 destination same here okay so destination 10 dot one return packet sin act this is sin act sin act then again out from in from port 3 return packet in from port 3 out from port 2 so friends in the next video we'll do advanced troubleshooting of fortigate firewall okay uh, we'll do debug site to uh, ipsec vpn troubleshooting will do nat okay so thanks for watching this video have a nice day